Hello and welcome back. Uh, Brian, Jez and Angelica are my guests today. Uh, now, I'm going to make a dessert. Yes. Is that all right? I love dessert. Well, you're going to make it. OK, I'll do whatever you say, Chef. Using some of Jez's honey, if that's all right. Yes, Chef. We're going to do a banana and uh, honey pecan cake, if that's all right by you. Sounds amazing. Is that all right? Amazing. So I thought we'd just do a simple little cake, really. We've got some butter, always butter, never margarine. We've got some eggs, a little bit of sugar, because I'm going to use some of the honey as well. Uh, we've got some uh, pecan nuts, some flour and some bananas. So the first thing we're going to do is chuck the butter in here. Yes. Thank you very much. Did you get to do much baking when you were on MasterChef then? Or? I did loads. I was known as the pastry girl. Were you? Yeah, I did loads of desserts. I made, um, oh, I made... Uh, a, 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 it was that memorable, obviously. No, 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 I'm just trying not to get into this. I was, like, I was trying to get this out. You were doing two things oh at once, though, weren't you? I know, exactly. Um, that's why it's all called cooking respect, and talking. All respect to you. I made a pear bordeloo for the final. And so, and I made a baked, baked Alaska right, as well. While, you, while you're still talking, okay, just okay, do okay. that. Pear bordeloo, that's a classic dessert, is a pear bordeloo. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I did that for the final. How many times did you practise it? I practiced it about three times because I made. Oh, come on! No, because I made it before. I made it before. Self publicity, sir. No, I'm going to be honest. But I, what was different is that I wanted the pear to stand up. So it was about making sure that the pear wasn't too big to sink down into the pastry to give it a soggy bottom. Uh, so I, that's what I had to practice. So we throw in the pecan nuts as well because we want to crush these also. So they're going to go in yep. and they start to break down. All right. Now, and also we're just going to chuck in the bananas. That's all right. So just. Two of those. Just break them all up. That's it. And throw those in. So they'll start to break down while they're mixing. All right? That's going to go in there as well. All right? Good stuff. All right? Now, whilst we've got that, that's mixing away nicely. So the tin itself, I've just lined a little bit of grease proof in the, in the bottom of the tin, just because it's easier to take out, really. Just a standard loaf tin. And then we're going to add our eggs. But, of course, you could make this with all. You don't need to use sugar, because you could use all honey yeah. for this. Mm -hmm. Would you have it a bit more solid then, or not? The honey? Yes. Yeah, um, I mean, you can use clear honey and it's fine. You just pull back a tiny bit. Okay. So you, you, you can... If, if you do the same amount of sugar and honey, it does come out a little too wet, so you just need to do a little less honey, but, but sets better. If We've you... already cooked on the show a few Spanish... Well, I cooked a Spanish dish as well, but... Spain has got a, a great affinity with honey as well. They've yes. got some fantastic... Spain and Portugal. Sure. Beautiful honey. You right there? I'm just... I'm helping you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was just past, it just suddenly went. I don't know what's <laughs> Well, you're out there. You can keep stirring. Okay. It's like but is that, home, because, is that because of the, the mixture of heather, the floral sort of stuff? And right? the weather too, right? Because, of course, it's it's hot and sunny for, for more of the year. So the bees get to forage a lot more and there's longer uh, forage times for them. So they get, to, they get to pack those hives full of gorgeous different honey. But if there was a country that you would say for somebody to try, obviously... Excluding the UK. Yes, excluding there, ours. Yeah. There is lots of stuff around all over the place. Yes. Well, which country would you look at in terms of the, the, the best flavour so combinations? Madeira's so got some really, really unusual honey because... That's because of the basic flowers, I think. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And so many huge botanical gardens in Madeira as well, so they get a real vast variety of foraging. Hearing what you say, just because it's different doesn't make it say it's better. No, oh, that's very it? true. That's true because ivy honey has that particularly uh, distinctive taste. Yeah. But of course, it's really unusual. You know, you only get ivy honey when we get nice warm autumns. Yeah. Um, and classically in this country, it's a bit of a wet, miserable autumn, isn't it? So, <laughs> uh, so if you get a nice warm autumn, you get ivy honey, and that's amazing for baking because it's got it's it's really thick, but it's woody and earthy as a flavour. Great over mushrooms the great and things thing like about that. This it's one of the few ingredients that changes and fluctuates yeah. year to year, isn't it? There's yeah. no set thing. No. Nope. The flavour combinations change massively. Yeah, absolutely. But and you, where you get it from. Do you remember the days when put this in the oven. olive oil was just one olive oil? Sure, yeah. And now if you go to the supermarket and look for olive oil, there's yep. 20 different variations, and you have to find the one that suits yep. Yep. you. So it's a personal, subjective oh, thing. Absolutely, yeah. Both honey is... In terms of flavour and in terms of the way it works, like the consistency of it. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I agree. So, basically, what I'm going to do with these, we're going to char grill... Uh, oh, char grill, we're going to blowtorch these bananas. That's all right. Love a bit of blowtorch. So, actually. you're going to do this, all right? All right, so... Can I get a hat and a blanket, please? <laughs> 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 yeah. I've seen this lady before. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving me a bad reputation. <laughs> right, we just take our... Where are we going for dinner? So, we're going to... We're not going for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> the date's off. Is this a date you're trying to set up? Yes. All oh, right, OK. I didn't instigate it and I said yes. Well, we're a bit awkward, we're in right the middle of it. Wind up. <laughs> He's right. making up lies. First thing she said to me. Right, can I, can I just dust it with ice cream yes, before do, you do, set do fire I'm to ready, my hand? Right. <laughs> is this working? It, it is working, yeah. Show me. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. 
Am I allowed to I mean, ask a question? Yes. Uh, <laughs> instead of icing sugar, could you use honey to blow? You can use out? honey, but you know she's about to burn my hand a bit, so I just thought <laughs> it's much safer for me to spoon a bit of honey over the top. To be honest, I'm going to use the honey over the top at the end. So when you do when you do the bananas, because she wanted to literally hold it on like that. Yeah, go and literally go for it. Try not to set it on fire. That's kind of stuff that you want, really. Yeah. All right. You guys carry on, let me talk about it. No, we're just watching you. So, uh, I'm going to talk about the little glaze that I've got in here. So we're going to use three things. I'm going to use... That's the reason why I'm not going to use honey for this bit. I want to put it in here. So we're going to use some of this honey as well as some mascarpone. Oh, what is... It's not me. It's called user error, I think, more than anything else. <laughs> is that all right? Yeah, they're good, they're good, they're good, they're good. We you get the gist, we get the gist. You didn't do that for your mash yet. No, I didn't. Right. <laughs> so we've got... Two different types. I've got mascarpone cheese and I've got full fat creme fraiche. This is the French style creme fraiche. It's, Wonderful it's, stuff. Oh, it's the best Wonderful stuff. stuff. The, the weird thing is about the it's French right. stuff, they don't have really good cream, I always find. No, they don't. They have a thing called mountain cream, which is like a thick, no, thick double cream, cream, but it's not, it's, their cream is like, like nobody's our cream. Nobody's cream's like our cream. Yeah, because no, we don't have, cause Tom, you, He travels the world, I travel the world. You cannot get double cream in any other country other than the UK. Wow. It's the only country that has 48% fat in it. That's it, yeah. 48. And all the heart problems that we've got as well. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but this, you, see, we can't, you can't find it in America, you can't find it no, anywhere. Absolutely. Anywhere. Anywhere that has it. So basically, we just mix all this lot together. And what the thick creme fraiche does, and of course, this honey gives it a lovely sort of flavour. I've just added a little bit of lemon juice in here as well. But look, <laughs> we take this. How long did that take, Chef? This, yeah. 45 minutes. You blinked and you missed it. 45 minutes in the oven. 180 degrees. That's that one. And then we can bring our... We don't need to warm this up. Hey, Bri. I Bit of that. I got that. I got that. Oh, so you're going to put honey on top of it? Yeah. So you don't want to have that too sweet? Yeah, Perfect. so this I've, this I've baked with Jesse's honey as well, but we just put... Wow. Oh. No. And this is minus calories per 100 don't, grams? Don't worry about that. <laughs> no, just get to the gym after this. Not me, I'm when have, relaxed. When, how long have you known me and when have I been bothered about that? <laughs> Actually, I said once, there was a magazine that, that wrote to me and said, because um, uh, it was a dessert recipe, said it was, um, can we have your white chocolate and whiskey croissant butter pudding? I went, yeah, sure. So anyway, they wrote to me and said, um, there's got to be a mistake because we've checked the recipe and it's 3,100 calories per portion. And they were proper kicking off. We had a nutritionist, is that what you call them? Yeah. She was properly going mad. And it was a mistake, cos it was 5,000 Properly going calories. mad. It was the days of the old facts. You know the facts used to come out like a toilet roll? Yeah. It's one of those sort of things, waiting for this fax to come through. She was properly going crazy. So, anyway, I phoned her back and she said, yeah, sorry, there is a mistake. She said, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You shouldn't make a mistake like that. For all our readers, it's wrong. I said, hold on a minute, hold on. You missed off the ice cream. <laughs> 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 so, we're just going to have a few of these. These little bits, these are bananas. And then look, we just take our these and we just pop these. I mean that one. All in here as well. So these are your caramelised bananas that sit on here. With the banana chips over the top. But then. <gasps> then. Then. Because we've got Jezia and this amazing honey. Get a few bits and pieces on there. Like that. We've got this amazing honeycomb. Now, I don't really do this, to be honest with you. How do you get that off there? You well, get an assistant. I want a bit you. of that. <laughs> well, you can go straight in, or do you want me to pop one of these in? No, 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 I don't know. Just, do just, just go. Just push it straight in. Oh. Just push anything. Use a knife. Can we have a roll on drums, please? No, you can use a knife or a spoon or your finger. Mm. Just just dig into. Dig into? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh. And so the cappings will come off, the wax cappings. Oh, look at this! <laughs> oh! Oh, that looks nice, Chef. Je t'aime, je t'aime. So, Jess, can you eat yeah, the wax? Yeah, you bits? can eat the wax. It's all natural. The bees produce it, yes. Some people say, don't eat it, don't no, eat it. No, you can it's eat it. It's not wax. It's bees <laughs> wax. <laughs> and it's very, very fine. That's the rawest wax, freshest wax. Mind you, I need to somebody that ate wax once. It's proper. But anyway, look. Oh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> right, there you have it. How good is that? A banana cake topped with bananas and proper honey. How good is that?
right. So we have a... You, there's no easy way of doing that. I'm just going to put it there. You can just... You know what I mean? You can have, yeah. a, have a little slice in. of this. Dig in with that. Yummy. It's got the honeycomb with it. A couple of chai go bananas. Go on, get in there, girl. Come on, come on. Come on. We're Sorry. gents. We come have on. to wait for you. Yeah, you're a gent. You go first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was cutting that for you. That I did that. These two just stood there and no, I... Did, no, please no. don't touch me. Oh, I've just put that... <laughs> <laughs> Look, that's for you. You can have that. Right, fine, I'll have you it. You have it. You have it. <laughs> when it comes to honey, oh. you don't start. Oh, you come back. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> oh. You can, you can taste the honey in the cake, can't you? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? But also, with the honey on top, it's not too much. It, it just sort of yeah. brings out the flavour because it's, it's different, right? Cooked honey is different to, to fresh honey. Mm. Very so nice. Good. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. And it's deep, it's really. Happy with that, Brian? Oh, oh, sure oh. am, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Right, time now for our second part of Osclark's Guide to the Wines of New Zealand's North Island. Uh, what this man doesn't know about wine isn't worth knowing. Enjoy this one.